Welcome back to HS Game Time. Well, we just lived in 6A. Now it's time to <laughs> turn our attention to 5A. Seneca looking to continue a memorable season. Yeah, the Red Hawks are 7-3. and three. That's their most wins since 2003. Now they're looking for their first playoff win since 2011 against Bullet Central. Seneca in control when Antoine Young wants it all. Guess what? He's going to get it all to Elijah yes. Price for the score. That made it 36 to nothing. And the defense didn't give an inch. Cougars looking downfield, but this pass is picked off Whoa. by Terrence Wilson. One-handed on you. Okay. Puts the paw on it. Not only does he do that, he's going to take it the distance. Everybody getting in the end zone. More from the Red Hawks. Shane White finds his way, just kind of picking his way through the defense until the end zone he goes. Seneca wins it 50 to nothing. First playoff win since 2011. Wes Unsel gets a Louisville banner. His alma mater gets a playoff win. We like it. That winner gets the winner of this one. South Oldham hosting Western. No score when we pick up the action. Jeff Burton breaking to the outside, cutting across, gliding in to score to make it 7-0. Later, still 7-0 Dragons. This is when you know it, it is your night. Nick Hamilton keeps it. He loses the ball, and it falls right back to him in the end zone. So it's going to be 15 nothing after the touchdown. Hamilton wants to throw. Quick error to Ryland Varner. Varner will turn on the burners to score, and South Oldham wins 42 to nothing. Next at 5A, 1 and 9 North Bullet visiting 9 and 1 Fairdale. I have zero clue why the Grinch is here. We still have Thanksgiving. Can we stop disrespecting Thanksgiving? Amen. Amen. I'm so over it. Yanni Pearson, he's over this game being a contest. It's a touchdown, 7 to nothing Fairdale later. They're going to keep it on the ground. Darnell Herzog, big hole, off to the races. They think he's going to score, but he gets caught from behind. Good hustle play for the tackle, but it's still a big game. Fairdale defense all over North Bullet. Three Bulldogs say, hey, we're going to meet at the quarterback. Ready? Okay, cool. Fairdale wins 34 to nothing. The Bulldogs will take on either Doss or Atherton. Ravens got their first ever playoff win last season. Dragons with the ball to start the game, but this pass is picked off by Trenton Sperling on the screen for Atherton, and my man has an opportunity to score, and he's going to take advantage. Atherton strikes first. Later in the first quarter, Doss. Nice drive going right here, but you can't put the ball on the ground, and that's exactly what they do. Donnie Sutton jumps all over it for the Ravens. That same drive, Quayshon Johnson just gets it in the hands of Chance Thompson. Touchdown, Ravens. 52-14 is your final, so it's Atherton and Fairdale next week. Let's make a quick stop in Southern Indiana. Providence hosting Tecumseh in a 1A sectional championship game. 14-7 Pioneers. Providence defense stepping up to start this one. Drew DuPont throwing downfield. He hits a wall. Brian Wall with the interception and the big return. And ensuing drive for the Pioneers. This is just an awesome play design. Cade Unruh picks up the speed, gets to the sideline. He is gone to make it 21 to 7 Providence late in the fourth quarter fourth down pioneers trying to ice it Landon Carter has the play to do it keeping it himself for the first down Providence wins 21 to 7.